Hi! So in this video um, I just wanted to take you through how I deal with the trial process um, when you've brought your hair with me. Um, um, I usually recommend about eight weeks before um, to have a trial so I'm just going to do a run through on my doll's head today and um, show you how to make the most out of your trial, get the best out of it, um, try a few different styles um, and talk you through some hints and tips along the way. So before I start styling, I um, just want to run you through um, some of the advice that I give um, for trials. So when's the best time to have a trial? So I usually recommend it's done around eight weeks before the wedding, um, but you can have it done whenever. Um, this is just so that your hair is the colour and the length and the texture um, most likely um, sort of the closest to how it will be on the day. Um, I usually also suggest to um, brides to have their hair trial if they can just before a dress fitting. So you come for me to me for your trial um, and then have you leave your hair in and go for a dress fitting um, because then it can sometimes be a little bit hard to picture how you how it's going to look um, it might feel a bit strange when you're just in your jeans and t-shirt but when you go and put your dress on and um, you kind of get a picture of it all together just makes it a little bit easier um, to see the the finished look so what do you bring with you um, so I always suggest to um, bring loads of pictures um, it just makes it easier to be to make sure that we're on the same wavelength um, so that I know that the picture that you have in your mind if you set on anything is the same picture that I'll have in my head when I'm working so bring plenty of pictures um, even if it's you know you just like a little bit of this one or you like the bun of this one or you just really don't like this one um, the more pictures the better um, also bring any hair accessories or veil that you have at the time um, and also hair extensions if you're planning on having extensions bring those with you as well um, I do tend to advise for your hair accessory um, if you can to get your hair accessory after your trial um, so you'll have your hair trial and decide how how you want your hair the style and everything um, and then I've got quite a wide selection of um, hair pieces that we can try out because um, if you buy sort of you know a big beautiful vine um, but then you end up with something that actually would look better with pins um, you've already got that vine you kind of have to work it in so um, yeah I would suggest getting your hair piece afterwards because we can try loads of different bits and bobs out in your hair you can decide which one you like the best um, which is most suited to you and then after the hair trial you can go away then um, and look for something that you know is going to be perfect for you and um, it's going to suit your style perfectly um, and just be the icing on the cake so there's lots of things to consider when you're picking um, a hairstyle for your big day and um, so I'm just going to run through a few of those for you and um, so the first one is your dress or your outfit um, so you think about the overall look of the dress or the outfit and um, if you are going for a very classic very elegant sort of styling and um, you maybe want a sleeker more um, typical um, bridal updo and um, also say like the neckline so if you've got a really heavily detailed neckline you maybe not necessarily want to gonna cover that with um, a half up half down so you maybe want it all up um, or if you've got a strapless dress and um, you maybe feel a bit exposed so you want it half down and um, just to kind of cover yourself up a little bit and um, also the overall look of your wedding in general so um, if you're going for like a festival vibe you're going to want something a bit more boho a bit more undone and um, or if you're going for a very classic traditional wedding um, again you maybe want something a bit more classically bridal um, for your hair um, also how you normally wear your hair so say you normally wear it up um, and you want to feel different on your big day you want to feel a bit more special so you maybe go for it half down half up half down um, and also the opposite so if you always wear it up but if you're weird with it down then um, still go for it up start looking for updos um, also your hair type and your hair colour so um, if you've got really fine hair 
um, and you definitely don't want to use extensions you're not going to be able to get that big voluminous half up half down that you may be looking at um, without a little bit of, a bit of extension help um, so just be mindful of that when you're looking at styles um, I can help with what's achievable and um, you would be surprised at what is achievable um, but just have that in your mind when you're looking um, also when you're looking for styles try and look for um, inspo that's a similar colour to your hair so if you have found all these beautiful hairstyles but they're all blonde but you've got brown hair um, it's the exact same style isn't going to look the same on brown hair as it is on blonde hair um, blonde hair detail stands out more but brunette hair it shines more um, so there's differences between the two so try and stick with the same colour when you're looking for inspo if you can um, also your face shape so um, again don't panic I'll help with this one because it's um, a bit more technical um, but if you've say got um, quite a long face you're not going to want lots of height because it's going to elongate your face even more um, if you've got a round face you're not going to want lots of volume on the sides because again it's going to accentuate that um, you want to just have a style that balances out your face shape um, so just um, have that in the back of your mind as well <clears throat> and then finally um, not a huge one but um, the time of year um, of your wedding is also a bit of a factor um, say for example you've got lots of thick hair um, and you're having a summer wedding and you know it's going to be really hot um, so if you've got it down you're going to get hot and sweaty and it's going to be uncomfortable you maybe want it up and off your neck and um, that kind of thing so again not not a huge issue um, but just one to think about as well um, don't panic about any of these um, I will chat through all of these with you um, <clears throat> to make sure that you get the perfect style for you your face shape your look everything um, to compliment you and your big day okay let's get down to some styling so i can show you how um a hair trial typically would work with me so i've got my glamorous assistant here dave the mannequin um so i've done dave like a, a beachy wave curl for this style um one of the first things i'll ask you um is or look at is how we're going to curl it so i've gone for a very beachy look today a bit more textured and um, she's very popular at the minute but you could go for a more sort of sleeker wave and um, a more soft um curly curl <laughs> if you like and um, so there's a few different options with that so what i'm going to show you today is basically how to get three styles out of your hair trial so we're going to put it into a half up um, and then into a ponytail and then finally into a bun so we'll start with the half up so I've popped a little bit of back comb in just through this top here um, with a half up um, one of the first things we'll look at is or with an updo as well how much you want left out around the face so you could have quite a lot left out around the face or a little bit less um, I'll take a little bit less I think Um, and you can either have it so you take you can just take this bit and have it covering over your ear because I know a lot of people don't like their ears on show and um, so you can still you can have it like that or you can take it all back and just leave a few bits out around the front and um, again personal preference so we'll go through that so I'll pop I'll pop that up slightly now so all I'm going to do today is just twist it round um, just so it keeps it nice and messy and undone um, but you could have um, you could go for a bit of a plait um, plaits are very popular as always um, just, just have a plait on one side um, again you just try all this out as you go basically um, so we've got a twist in one side and then I'll pop one on the other as well again leaving out as much as we want around the front okay 
it was a very personal thing so you want it to be very personalised to you which is why I'll ask about a thousand questions um, while I'm styling just to make sure you're going to get the best one for you that you're going to feel most comfortable with. as well. So there you go, you've got two twists round. So that would be one of your half ups that you could try. Um, if you bring it around the front. Um, so we do that, see how you felt about that. You could have Again, more left out, you could plait one side, um, so many different options within that. So we'd explore that first um, and then try open to look. So ponytails are very popular at the moment. Um, so I'll show you, you could even try this at home actually, um, switching from a um, half up um, a ponytail into a bun really super simple so grab a little elastic and then this top half we're going to split this into two sections pop this back to a pony Got one ponytail there, and then we'll pop this into a ponytail as well. But slightly different on this one, so pin this out that way. So this bit pop it directly under the last one, but this time rather than taking it all the way through. On the last turn of the bobble, just pull it through a little bit. So you've made like a little little loop there. And then all we're going to do is thread this ponytail through this loop. So there you've got a cute little like boho ponytail which is a great one for um bridesmaids actually i think this is a really nice bride bridesmaid style or boho bride and um, at this point if you like this we could like pop some some of these pieces back just to soften around here um or we can pop it into a bun so with that so we've already got this piece here take this piece and all we do is just wrap it around, pin it in as we go. can be as messy or as neat as you want so you can just leave it really super messy boho um, or if you've gone for a sleeker look this will sit a lot tighter in um, you can even pull some little bits out it really depends on you your style what you prefer we'll go through all this um, when we're working I'll ask you you know I'll do something do you like that do something else do you like that um, just so I know exactly what you do and don't like so I'm just going to pin some of these little bits in. Quite like 
these little bits hanging down there I think so and then you can just start messing around pulling bits out loosening bits off just to soften it all and there you've got it into a super super cute bun um, so at this point I would say, um, so do you like it? Is there anything you want to change? Um, you could say, you know, I don't want these bits around the front. Can we try it without these? That's fine. Um, we can play around with that. Um, but it just shows you how easy it is once it's curled, how easy it is to swap between styles. Um, so don't worry that, you know, you can only try one, try, one style at, at your trial and that's it. Um, you've got lots of different... Um, lot of time to try different ones just to make sure that you're going to get the right style for you um my favorite little tool at the minute is this little topsy topsy tail so if you decided you wanted you didn't want as much back here you can just start popping some bits through and this will help just soften the overall look as well so if you feel a bit naked around your neckline this will just help Soften it all. Keep it back through there. Back through there. There you go. So you've got a bit less back now, but more coming into the bun just to soften around here. Um, so yeah, lots of different ways to play about with it. Um, try half up then straight away try an updo and um, there's so many different ways of doing it um, and that's what I try this for just to try out lots of things so you go away knowing that you've tried a few different things that were in your head and you know that it's definitely that one okay so once um, we have found your style and you're happy and um, with the finished look and how it feels um, then it will take a few photos and um, so I'll take a few on my phone so I can remember what I did for the day um, and also take some on your phone as well if you like so um, you can look back and see how it looked um, and then it's time to try some accessories um, so I've got quite a range of different bits and bobs in stock and um, this is just a small range of what I've got just to um, give you an idea um, so you could try a bit of a vine in it and so you could just pop a vine around there or just up along there and pop a veil through that bit as well and just pop that in or you can get these vines that are on pins as well um, so you can put that either through the top there or again just through this side so you put through there like that so they just sit in there and um, you could also pop um some fresh flowers would look really pretty in this kind of style and um, most florists will pop um flowers on pins for you um or just reinforce the stems a little bit so that i can pop little bits through so the little baby's breath gypsophilia would look really pretty um any kind of pins so I've got some pearl pins here but you could have something with a bit of sparkle on it um, and pop those in through the side there just as a little something you don't have to go extra blingy just that little bit of something literally can just be the cherry on the cake um, and then last of all you could try Comb. so you can pop a comb in the top there or again through the side um, you could try veils as well I've got a few veils and um, that we could try so if you're undecided on a veil we can pop one of those in and um, so you can see the finished look together um, so yeah I hope that's been helpful um, seeing it all come together um, and just show you that you know you don't have to just try one style you don't have to come with one style that you want you know you don't have to be already set on which one you want you can try a few different things and um, that's what a trial's for trial and error 
um, see what you like, what suits you. You might have something in your head and then you do it and you think, oh no, I don't like that. Um, so you have something completely different. Again, that's what a trial is for and I'm here to help you every step of the way. Um, so if you'd like to get in touch or you've got any questions, um, I'm on Instagram and Facebook. And if you go to my website, um, my email and phone number is on there if you want to get in contact to chat through anything um, or check availability for your date then just let me know and um, thanks for watching hope you enjoyed it